what's going on, everybody? So, the reason I'm making this video is because I did a channeling last night, and I got food poisoning right now. And it hit as soon as I started doing the channel, like, well, like five minutes into the channeling. And I got really sick, so I decided to delete it, but, um, I haven't done a channeling in, like, a week. I mean, I usually do them, you know, after, like, Wednesday. So between, like, Thursday and Sunday is, like, when I have my time to do that. Um, but I got food poisoning right now. I feel awful. I've been... A lot of pain, a lot of nausea, just been sick all day, just laying down, not doing anything. But um, I wanted to give you guys something, you know, because I, I did it last night and it was very meaningful. So I'm not even going to try to bother right now doing a channeling. I'm already having trouble um, going to the store, you know, 10 minutes away as it is. So... All I can really do is just um, tell you what happened. You know, I went back and, you know, watched and so all I can do is tell you what happened, basically. And um, it was very heartfelt. It, there was a point where, well, basically, it was two beings. Um, it was the Yale, someone named Daniel. And then it was the Blue Avians. And I believe it was, it's weird, I kept getting the name Delilah, I know I've talked about this in another video, um, I don't know if they want to be channeled, but anyways, that's what I kept getting, oh, I feel sick, sorry guys, I apologize, it looked terrible. Um, so basically, the Yegel came in last night during a meditation, and it was very, very, um, moving, and very heartfelt, and... Lately, I've just been going through, like, my own issues, like, everyone has stuff, um, but they came through, and it was almost like they, they were giving me a message, but at the same time, they were, like, helping me, like, they are giving me a personal message, which is very good, you know, very beneficial, I'm grateful and thankful for that, um. So, basically, like, some of the people, well, all the people at the workshop I went to in New York, they know about this. Um, there is a, there is a day where we were sitting in a circle outside, and we were just talking about our own experiences. And I talked about how a lot of people are spiritual, but they're not into the alien stuff. And if they only really knew what they talked about, it would be a completely different story. Because what they talk about a lot of the times, you know, it's healing, and it could be... What so what someone who who doesn't know about this stuff would imagine like an angel would talk about and that's what they talk about, you know? And just how good they really are basically to us. Um but anyways, like I said at the workshop in August I had um a dream when the old guy had a vision in a dream where I, I went to like another aspect and I had um a a Yale child, like a daughter. And it was very moving, and I literally, like, at that moment, you know, I, I, I felt only what I can assume is what it feels like to have, to be a parent and to be in a family and to feel love. And, and like, yeah, I know unconditional love, but, I mean, like, really that love for something that you've created, you know. Um, and I was saying at the workshop about how, you know, every time I'm not doing good or I'm depressed or something, they, they give me that vision and they actually help me. And they make me feel, um, I don't know, just important, you know, they make it feel, make me feel like what I'm doing to work it sometimes. So, yesterday in the meditation, um, I got that again. And then also, I started just getting this, this message, this download from someone named Daniel. And I'll definitely, in the future, the next couple of days, a week, whatever, when I feel better, I'll definitely try to, um, channel them. And anyways, um, but they said, and again, I'm not channeling right now, so I'm just going off of what I, what I went back and watched and what I heard and all that stuff. Because sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not. And basically they were saying they were, um, around Trump right now and that it is true that he's dealing with the EL and the, and the Pleiadians. 
Um, and then also they were saying that basically they were the ones who he was in the most contact with right now. And that we're in like a, a stage where there's a lot of observation because there's a lot of changes going on. And I think a couple of other channels have said this. I think Jim might have talked about this. I'm not sure, but in the fourth dimension, I mean, compared to here, there's more stuff going on. There's like a bigger, I want to call it a war, but just diversions and things, you know, um, that we don't know about. And if we saw it, it'd be a completely different story. But they were basically saying to me that that, that is true. And that a lot of that is happening, and because of that, and they're working with Trump, things just need to go basically carefully as planned right now. Um, and then also they were saying that they were, they were, whenever, and this is like more from my personal message, but I still, you know, would like to share with you guys because it's important and it really, really was heartfelt basically. They, um, they, they, what they showed me was they were like, this is, a fifth, like when I saw like my family, my other aspect from there and all that stuff, they were showing me that that was the fifth dimension and that they, and, and again, this is like, this is really important, this is special, I think this is something that a lot of people should actually watch just to show you the importance and there's no separation, you know, um, I mean, they really care that much, it's the truth, um, but anyways, they were showing me that from that vision, they were like, this is like the fifth dimension. This is like where there's just the love. There's no duality. It's all the positive. Just think of a heartfelt moment or like a moment that was so perfect. And imagine always living in that moment. And they gave me that feeling yesterday. And I'm not afraid to admit it. I really needed it. Um, I was kind of not, I was kind of depressed yesterday. Um, just had a lot of interaction with people. So sometimes you know, I get lonely. I have no, no problem doing that. But it's really nice how, you know, they knew I was feeling that way and I was in meditation and they connected to me and they were like, this is the feeling, this is the feeling that you, you know, you have when you go to these places and other aspects right now. Yeah, you're here. This is a lot harder, but they were like, we want you to feel loved. We want you to feel important because you are. And I thought that was really cool. Um, but that was really important. You know, they were literally just building me up with like you know after a while you know like that like not too long the last couple of days i've just been really tired really out of it just like i said not doing too great you know i'm not sad or anything but just not too great but they kind of like brought my spirits up and that's really nice of them and they were just saying um yeah there's these hard times and dealing with a lot of stuff right now but you deserve to feel loved and here you go and anytime you want to connect here you go and so i think that's really cool you know um, and then it was Daniel, so he was saying that's the biggest difference between here and the third dimension. As most of you guys know, the fourth dimension is where, like, anything can go, like the astral, the good and the bad, the craziness, all that crazy stuff. Like, as you go higher in the dimensions, you know, it's, like, more positive, and there's just the positivity, and there's not the good and bad, and there's no really duality, and it's just love, and the light, and all that kind of stuff, you know. And I'm sick right now, so I'm not doing too great, like, um, explaining all this stuff. So they were just saying that, um, and then they're also saying that they are the ones that are going to be, yeah, this is, okay, this is, this is coming back to me. So they said that they are the ones who we are supposed to have that first contact with. It's going to be a while, for sure, probably, unless something happens where they have to interfere, which I'm, I'm hoping not. Because that means, you know, a lot of bad things would happen. But they, they gave me this image when I was connecting to them. And this is when I was in my meditation, so like I was kind of channeling them. Like, I'm always channeling, but, like, if you want to call channeling, like, when I'm in front of you guys and delivering, when they're going through my, my vocal, you know, my throat chakra, then okay. But, like, I'm always channeling, so, you know. But, anyways, um, what they wanted me to know was they gave me an image. And it's kind of like, imagine looking at the world right now. And there are a lot of awakened people, don't get me wrong, there's a ton of awakened people. But let's just say, and this is just a number, you're looking at a picture of the world, of the globe, um, and basically you see like a thousand dots and it's like the awakened people who, who know peace and you and you, whatever. So what they were showing me was until, and this is, you know, inevitable, it's going to happen. They're saying until, and they were showing me until, like, those dots grow to a certain amount to where the majority of people are on this planet. And they're like, yes, 
we are welcome to you guys coming. Um, excuse me, you know, like we we like and like people are together and there's no wars and the, the peace is there and all that kind of stuff. They're just showing that's when it's gonna happen. I mean, we have to get over what we're doing with separation and just negativity towards people and all that kind of stuff. We can't, you know, like it has to stop, you know. And then the other one was the um blue avian and I gotta I gotta be funny right here and throw some shade. I, I learned recently Corey Good said that and a lot of you know Corey Good. So a lot of a lot of things that I read were were just talking about how he thinks no one can channel the blue avians, only him. But I was talking to somebody, I'm not gonna say their name because they're pretty well known, but I, they were messaging me and they're like, Yeah, um someone channeled the blue avians and he like sent their people or his people like to go frighten the person because he channeled the avians and it's like Corey Good, you're not all correct, man, so sorry. Um but yeah, but I channeled them. And then so I got the name Delilah, I got a super feminine energy. It was really interesting. And it's and they've been around. But I didn't know if I should try channeling them or not. I don't know if they wanted to be channeled. Or if they're here just to help me, you know, right now. But they were just giving me you know, yesterday. And what they were saying, and this is the last one, so I'll stop after this. I'll probably talk for like eight minutes. Um, what they were saying was that right now they're here as observers. They're observing. They're part of the, um, obviously there's like the blue sphere of the alliances. They're part of many alliances. And I do believe they have something to do with Gert Vicknir. Um, I don't know if they personally have anything to do with like the Gurk Vikner stuff. But I think they are working with Gurk Vikner. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like they they help make sure things are going according to plan. And what I was getting was that um, without interacting from like take the humans out of perspective, imagine you just like you know a universal I guess outlook. They're kind of like the patrol in certain areas too. Um, where they don't want certain beings, for example, sorry, like for example, I think, um, what, for, again, okay, for good example, sorry guys, I'm really sick right now. I think it's like, you know, they, they stop certain negative beings and, and entities to, to coming like a certain distance maybe to Earth. That's what I'm getting. Kind of like they, they try to prep and try to keep things stable within other alliances and beings. And that they have something to do with Gurk Vikmir. Again, I don't think they're like straight connected like like they're Gurk Vikmir, but I think they work with them in a line to keep things going how it should. And then what I was also getting from them is with Gurk Vikmir, which is very cool because I wanted to connect to that for a while and I just haven't. Um, and what I'm getting is that there's something in the future that they can't, it's basically like a huge, like a secret right now. They can't really let things known because of like the impact. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of like, this is stupid, but this is coming to my head. It's kind of like going back in history and not wanting to make an impact by, by, you know, accidentally changing in the future or whatever. So basically, um, whatever they're doing with Gert Vignier is for a very, very good purpose. And if I can make my own guesses. I think when we finally do have first contact and beings come, I think there's going to be more than just like a certain race of beings. I feel they're creating and using us, you know, to also make like hybrids and other things. And I think they're going to be connected to us and they're going to be here. I mean, no, they're not serve us, but then they're going to come here, and I think in the future they're going to help make a huge in positive impact. But they're like a part of us in a way. That's what I'm getting. So it's a very positive thing. Um, you got to be careful. So they were saying that, and then basically right now they're observers. Um, I think just maybe in my case, I'm not sure, but they're observing. And just like the Yigel, there's a lot going on right now. And many channelers are saying that it's pretty quiet right now. Like, yeah, you can still channel, but there's not as much activity. And I think it's because we're in a situation where, like, right now, a big turn of events could happen. So it's kind of like just be as cautious um, as you can. So I think that's what's going on. Um... 
And I can't think of anything else. I connected to them. I think it was the Estesani last night, and I've never connected to them. I got a really weird image. And it was a little too much. I was just like, whoa, like, this is... Like, it was really weird. I literally feel like the energies are amping up back when the Lionsgate happened, and they were talking about the eclipse, how, you know, as time passes after that, um, abilities are just going to heighten, and I'm really starting to feel that. Yesterday, like, I had a very, um, what would you call it? It was a very intense meditation because more than usual, all these beings and things were coming, and it was almost like, slow down. Can't take all this at one time, sorry. Um, so I've noticed that's been happening, so I really hope other people are progressing as well. You know, we got to do this together, obviously. So that's about it, guys. Um, and I do want to apologize again that I, I didn't. I deleted the video and I ended up not doing the channeling. Like, literally, as I was doing it, I started gagging. And I'm like, uh-oh, like, I can't do this. So, stopped the video, woke up this morning, um, got a new job. So, I had to go do this paperwork stuff. And I had to, I had to cancel it till tomorrow, you know, because I was like, I can't. I'm just, I'm so sick right now. So, feel like crap, look like crap. Um, but I'm going to be there Sunday for the, the return seminar for Hoopla. Um, for the workshop, it's just like, you know, a, a get together for everybody, a reunion, so I can't wait for that, um, that's gonna be fun, purposely took, took my day off, um, to do that Sunday, so I'm looking forward to that, so, that is it guys, if anything happens, I will let you know, uh, I'll be here for channelings, hopefully in the next couple days, I'm just really sick right now, so, can't do anything, so, alright guys, talk to you later, um, and I hope you guys feel good. I hope you guys have a good weekend. So thank you. Peace.